all right hey guys how we all doing today uh we're just gonna play some chill games and play i think there's like an easter mini dlc i'm surprised this game's pretty old maybe a couple years i think surprised they uh put little like easter eggs well that's kind of funny easter easter eggs okay but yeah like easter eggs in the game but this is like a dungeon crawler survival type game i'm not sure the correct category for it but i personally love the game i haven't played it probably since like they release a year or two ago three maybe and i saw that there was going to be a dungeons 4 that they were making uh sometime this year which i'm very interested in playing personally so we're just going to go through this game again refresh our memory get some videos recorded enjoy ourselves the shadow of absolute evil the shadow of absolute evil had crossed the sea and now sought the chosen target a dark elf named talia yeah so uh the the narrator in these games are like absolutely like amazing like i don't you, you'll see but it's i love the narrator i guess these are like challenges per level but uh i think i already did them before potentially or do i have to eh, whatever we're just gonna play the game uh, yeah. I accidentally clicked on co-op. My bad. We're just gonna play solo. A long, long time ago. The absolute evil had, in the famous predecessor to this game, subjugated the known world and defeated good. Now, in a world full of blackness and despair, it spent its days sipping cocktails from the skulls of its enemies and Fucking unicorn plans over a grilled unicorn kebab. Holy Unfortunately, shit. there wasn't much left to forge. A few orc wedges, the occasional trick played on the little snots. There just wasn't anything left to conquer. As the weeks and months passed, the absolute evil grew ever more reticent and seclusive. From time to time, one could hear a slight murmur from the depressed evil's super-secret, secret laboratory in the depths of the dungeon. Its creatures grew more worried with each passing day, and even started to miss its ingenious evil tricks. It was a somewhat confusing time for them. No beatings, no torture, and no being sent to a senseless death. On the other hand, it was a rather nice change. Eons passed, and the unicorn supply dwindled until suddenly, one wonderful day, the evil genius evil joyfully burst from its super secret secret laboratory. It finally had a new goal. An unknown continent, as often found in sequels, lay to the east, sheltered from the wicked evil by naught but a puny little ocean. Oh. It immediately had a fleet built. This oh, was so powerful that fast. it covered the horizon from north to south and was manned by the best and most powerful creatures at the devious evil's command. The fleet set sail for the crossing to this new continent, left the harbor, and sank. What? They sank? Yet that mattered naught to the couldn't give a hoot about its minions evil. It instructed its goblins and little snots to design an even more powerful fleet. Ooh, These ooh, some new boys. ships were Big gigantic. Boys. Loaded with devious evil's second best creatures, the fleet set out. And that sank as well. What? Ow! The annoyed evil saved his relentless anger towards the shipbuilders for later. Obviously, it would have to take care of the matter itself. With a sigh, it cast a spell and created a shadow of itself. A creature of absolute darkness and evilness. This shadow flew across the water towards the east. Interesting. There, it would find a vessel, a corruptible being that would subjugate this land in the name of evil. And the shadow had the perfect target in mind. Is that right?
I wonder how the two, uh, the two fleets... I wonder how they sunk. They really explain. The great paladin Thanos, hero of the totally eastern kingdoms and a repugnantly good fellow. He was visiting the fatiguing library in Tristram with his comrades to see his Those foster names. daughter Talia. Well now, Talia, tell me about your studies. Are you making progress with the writings of the ancient sages? Yes, dear father. I have thoroughly digested it and have come a step closer to the good. The desire within me to do evil is defeated. Lies. Really? <laughs> Excellent. I am proud of you, my child. Continue to concentrate on your studies. I must go to Stormbreeze to clear up a few matters. I'll be back soon. In the meantime, my loyal friend Grimly will protect the country. Should anything trouble you, Grimly. return to him. Isn't that right, Grimly? Door. I, of course, Janos. I'll keep an eye on the damned elf. You, I mean, your daughter. You can count on me. Then I'll see you soon, my friend. Is that guy over here? Oh, he's sitting on a barrel. You, and the light burn eternally. Bon voyage, dear father. I'll make you so proud of me. Where the hell did he turn Who like does that? Does good is good. Yuck! Disgusting phrases like that always leave such a nasty taste in my mouth. These abnormally good heroes, on the other hand, had no inkling of the malignity gathered to the south. One moment a herd of sheep was peacefully grazing, oh. and the next moment, wumph. Yeah. With a fulminant explosive effect that ate up half our special effects budget, the shadow entered the world. His target, a dark elf caught between good and evil, was very close. I'm guessing As that's the shadow of the Talia. unspeakably evil evil moved through the world, all around it died. Plants withered, animals perished. Sort of like a picnic with my family. Yeah, I haven't played this game so long I like how it's like night I'm um, like good and like and then I like walk over it and like sucks the life out of everything that's pretty good the bunnies change oh corrupt everything the shadow of the far-off evil found itself very very close to Twistrum it could practically feel its targets presence what is that light men and let the light of the goddess shine for the night is dark and full of terrors, and there's a pile of horse poo around here somewhere. Ew. I've it earlier. For the darkness, uh, 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 I, mean, I mean, for the, for the light. Sorry, <laughs> I'm still in training. <laughs> like my, uh, oh, my name is just the yeah, shadow. Well, that is somewhat suboptimal. Naturally, the shadow of the almighty evil was an incredibly powerful creature, but well, light was a bit of an issue. It yeah, would certainly be wise light, to stay out of the lantern light. Can do. Is he gonna... Is he gonna catch me if I go over there? The shadow reached the entrance to Tristram. Fortunately, this one was not closed, but it was brightly lit. Luckily, there was an unfortunate guard on patrol that the Shadow was able to possess, thanks to its incredible powers. As long as it wasn't in the light. Uh. The Shadow of Absolute Evil melded with the guard and took control of his body. Thus, it was able to pass through the gate with ease. So? Uh, what was that? I think there was something wrong with our last beer. <laughs> Unfortunately, the shadow's position He's gonna walk was right past me. a short while before the guard was able to free himself. All right, see you, buddy. Still, it was long enough to get past the gate. The shadow's target was close. So Isn't that a mage? Talia, the dark elf. Soon she would fight on the side of evil. <laughs> yes, she will. Oh, he sounds menacing. May the goddess be with you, my friends. It will soon be time to open the orphanage in the fatiguing library. Come to the big square and join in the festivities. 
He seems well, nice, though. I don't know. I had actually kind of planned to spend the evening in the bathhouse. Friends, this orphanage is very important to my father. Thanos, you know, <laughs> the mighty paladin. Making him feel guilty. You really don't want to offend. Uh, yeah, I'm, all right, all right, we'd love to come. Excellent. May the light of the goddess shine upon you and let us experience this exhilarating spectacle in the big square together. Follow me, my friends, for evil at the, 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 the light, I mean. Evil light. Keep the light burning bright, for the night is dark and full of terriers or uh, errors or terriers. Th 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 something like that. Yeah, the second game in the series, which I'll probably end up playing as well, had like. The whole game, pretty much, and I think there was like two two DLCs, maybe, and I the whole game was like Game of Thrones references. It was like really good. I uh, wanted to play this one first because it's a little bit more easier, and as I said, the fourth one's coming, so I can just kind of get a refresher. They don't really, I think, from the the tra not the trailer, but like the pictures I saw for the fourth one, it seems like Talia is gonna be the uh, main character as well. Well, this game is going to kind of go with that one as well. How do I do this again? F. What? I can't possess him? Am I just too far? Well, maybe we just aren't supposed to go that way yet. Ow! I know actually the damage to me. Are you gonna walk backwards? Yeah. Then we're gonna hide in here. What's that clicking noise? Yeah, it's pretty slow. Oh, they were in the light. That's why I can't possess them. Okay, I got you. He's not in the light. Stop holding the lantern in my face like that, boy. I am Grimley, king of the dwarves. And I am used to the cold, dark tunnels under the mountains. I am... Huh? Oh... One of just subtitles. Oh yeah, oh, they're already no on. I guess. No need of any stupid lamp shining into me eyes. Now I'm stuck with that damn pointy ear. I, I mean, my good friend Tavos is foster daughter. Curse him. A dark elf is a dark elf, and nothing will change that. The girl will always be tainted. Should have cut her ears off when I had the chance. Kind of rough. Um, uh, kind of stuck here. Do I have to go this way? God, I couldn't take over him. I still can't. F. Yeah, I can't. Okay. I can't do anything. Oh, I can. Oh. I just have to walk back over there. Oh god, oh god. Oh my god. Nope. Oh, did I move? Damn it. I guess. I don't know if I could. Go around that way. Enough chit chat, men. You stay here and secure the area. I have to go check my invention. Oh, I can't go this way. Stay alert. I can feel something evil lurking in the area. 
and it's not just that damn pointy-eared... I mean, that elf. After this cliched monologue, it Grimly disappeared into the faster. darkness. The impatient evil shadow set off again. In the distance, one could hear the unbearably good bells of a church. They must be marking the opening of the orphanage in the fatiguing library. Hey. Heroes, with lanterns, began to stream in that direction. They're all coming. The crossing on a red signal evil shadow swore, or would have, if it had a mouth, and tried to avoid the lanterns as much as possible. I'm the best. Come on. Kidnapper, go. Finally, finally, the time had come and the shadow of the past... My dear father would be very proud were he with us today. He would be overjoyed to see us give the young and the needy a place to live and thrive. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm happy to take this orphanage and this... Orphanage and destroy it utterly, and all of you with it. What did she say? Die! <laughs> what? If I do this, there's no hotkey for it. I, I feel the power within me. Oh, it, it, it's over 9,000! Unimagined uh -huh. powers surfaced in Talia. The black magic of the Dark Elves. She immediately began to unleash these powers of chaos upon the world. Oh my god. Oh my god. Poor everybody. Why is everybody stunned? Oh, she auto-casts the, uh... The, the spell. dark elf raged through Twistrum's inexperienced guards. She thereby built up a tremendous inner Kamehameha. energy, <laughs> which she released into the world as a focus beam, while screaming, Kamehameha! Told you this narrator is great. In the fatiguing library, they waited eagerly with coffee and cake for Talia to show up and open the new orphanage. Rip the them. energy beam hit the cake with a resounding zap and reduced it to ashes. Oh yes, and the rest of the building and everyone inside it as well. Oh no. The narcissistic evil patted itself on the shoulder for this. Or it would have, but the metal armor always made such a terrible clonking noise when it tried. But then again, that's what little snots are for. Obviously, the dispatch shadow had found a perfect vessel in the Dark Elf. Talia had already earned the title of Employee of the Month with her. the utter destruction of the fatiguing library, as well as half of Twistrum. The destruction of an orphanage and the bombardment of innocent citizens with magic missiles immediately made her the Minion Wasting Evil's new favorite henchperson. Her evil deeds complete, Talia withdrew into and the vault she beneath the ruins of the fatiguing library. There, between the slaughterhouse and mad Archbishop Lazarus's apartments, she prepared to create something powerful in the name of the absolutely, ultimately evil, evil. Thanks, Crystal. A dungeon heart, the cornerstone Ooh. of any dungeon's power. Far away, Paladin of Light and Talia's Generic former fantasy mentor, city. Thanos, was on his way to the Empire's capital of Stormbreeze. Naive and trusting as he was, he was whistling cheerfully to himself with no the inkling dragon? of his foster daughter's dark deeds. Though he was aware that as a dark elf, she always had a core of evil in her. He had hoped to defeat it through religious indoctrination with ancient mad writings. Well, old bean, you thought wrong. <laughs> Twistrum in ruins. Talia, the Dark Elf, had turned to evil and laid the fatiguing library in ruins. Now she began to build a small power base in its vaults, her first dungeon. Well, that was like a hellish moment, apparently. Yeah, we're gonna. 
do that next mission in the next video. And I hope you guys enjoy the game. Stay around, like, subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and look forward to the next one. Thank you.